Hi friends, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about today's video. I am going to be sharing with you guys the new 2018 Power Sheets. This is an incredible goal planner. If you already know about the Power Sheets, you're probably really excited to see the 2018 Power Sheets because there are lots of changes this year from the 2017 edition. And if you're new to Power Sheets, you are in for a treat. I have to say this is one of my absolutely favorite tools for goal setting. And even though I'm calling it a goal planner, I don't want that to be misleading. This is definitely not a regular planner or a day planner of any kind. This is something that you can use in conjunction with your planners. This is a specific tool to help you with your goals. I feel like there's really nothing else like this goal planner on the market right now. I love these. I have been using them now for a couple of years. The first time I used a full book form format was last year. I got really serious about my power sheets in 2017 and they have been an incredible tool. Um, it's not a system that is just impossible to do that you start out doing in January and then by March you're burnt out. It's a really smart system to help you uncover your goals, to make progress. I am going to walk you through these power sheets. They have both a one year workbook, which you want to get this one. If you're watching this video later in the year and you cannot get this year, book. They do have six month undated books and because they're undated you can go at your own pace but I really really recommend that if you're going to start out fresh with this or if you really want to take your goal setting and working through your goals to another level invest in this one year book and I think it's the best value. You get some material in this one year book that you don't get in the six month undated power sheets so that's just kind of my two cents with it but regardless of whatever you want to choose you can find all the information on the websites in the description box. The other great thing about the 2018 power sheets release there is a new product that you can use in your power sheet a new sticker book if you want me to do a video video on their new sticker book which has a whole bunch of stickers made specifically for use in this goal planner let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure and film that video when they come in there's also a brand new product that I cannot wait to show you this is cultivate what matters tending tape and it has an extra special use in this new power sheets form because of some of the new features they've got this year so let's get into these power sheets here are the 2018 power sheets and you can see there in the light there is some fabulous gold foil on there. One of the other new products is the Cultivate Tending Tape. This is one of the washi tapes that are inside there. This Cultivate Tending Tape is basically washi tape, but it has been designed with the power sheets in mind in terms of color schemes. I wasn't going to show you the tending tape first, but Look how cool this is. It's very delicate. This is in Laura Casey's handwriting, who is the owner and the creator of the power sheets. And it says progress, not perfection. You can do it and choose what matters. So I'll be showing you how that fits into the power sheets later on. And then again, there is a new sticker book, but I don't have it in my possession. This is the 2017 Cultivate What Matters sticker book. And uh, heads up, Keep uh, watching the video because I've got a very special giveaway and these stickers may or may not be in that giveaway. We'll chat more about that soon. Here's our new 2018 cover. And just to give you guys a frame of reference on size, these are my 2017 power sheets so you can see how they have changed the layout. And instead of the front saying make it happen, it says cultivate what matters, but they are the same size. And the reason I wanted to show you that is they have actually added 20 additional pages to this book, but they still kept it the same size. You can see there it's much thicker. Also wanted to show you very briefly, these are the freebies that come with your 2018 power sheets. This is a great quote card. And then this is the other new card that I have never seen from them before. I love the gold foil, dream it, plan it, and live it. And then there's a little note from Laura on the back. And then they always send a free postcard. And this is actually the postcard that I put in an Ikea frame and it's on my office dresser and I love it. You know all those things you've always wanted to do, you should go do them. Very inspirational, so pretty with the gold foil. And then last year they sent a larger card, but I like that they made this one smaller just because it's really easy to tuck it onto a bulletin board or you can find a place to put it in your power sheets. And I love the gold foils. Okay, 
2018. Let's do this. This is the beginning page where you put your name and the day you started your power sheets. And I like this new graphic this year. What if today is the day that everything changes? So if you haven't already seen the power sheets before, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the quality. Throughout the book, there is beautiful art like this. This is a nice gold foil with, of course, the leaf design. And this leaf design has symbolism to it. It signifies the four seasons. So winter, spring, summer, and fall. So on most of these pages, I'm going to be zooming in so you can see the detail because that's one of the things I love about the power sheets is the quality and the detail on all the pages. This is one of the first pages in the book. This is where you brainstorm your 2018 ideas for your goals, things you want to accomplish. Then another great quote page. And then a getting to know me page. Then this page is new. This is a break your identity box page. Uh, ways that you want to embrace the identity that you know you're called to and break out of the boxes that people put you in. They just have really fantastic prompts to go through and this goal prep to me is really worth the whole cost of the power sheets. Even if you didn't have all of the goal tending lists, which is really the heart of the power sheets, I really think that the prep work in the power sheets is one of the things that makes this tool so indispensable because you really dig in and you can take as long as you want or as short as you want. I've seen people take a couple days. I've seen people take weeks. I honestly start filling it out sometimes before the end of the year and then I'm still working on some of this prep work into January and February. There's really no hard and fast rule. You can always go back and work on some of that and not feel like you have to fill in all of the prep work before you get to the goal. So the next page is who I really am with some prompts about yourself and then why I want to make what matters happen. Then this is a new spread for this year. This is the Cultivated Life Evaluation. I love that they've done color coding. There is also great color coding stickers coming in the new sticker books. You basically evaluate these different areas of your life. And not only will you do this here before you write out your goals at the beginning of the year, but you will do these life evaluations throughout the year in this yearly book. So you've got subjects like health, friends, spouse, or significant other. I heard a really great tip from Laura. She said if you are single and you don't have a significant other, maybe use this with a close friend if you wanted to really tend and cultivate to your friendships and relationships, uh, family, work, recreation, spiritual, personal growth, and finances. So I'm really looking forward to digging into that. And then we'll zoom in there on the next page. Which three areas of your life do you most want to cultivate moving forward? The next page is a letting go page, which is always one of my favorites. I don't know why. It seems daunting at first, but then once I start writing, it just helps me get everything out on the page. You let it all go, how you feel, what you're letting go of to move forward. And there's another great quote. And then I said this in my last year's 2017 Power Sheets walkthrough, and I'll put a card up in the corner there if you haven't seen that video. This is one of the hardest pages for me to meet your fears. I struggle with fear and it's something that I'm constantly giving to the Lord and working on in my own life. So I really like that when you write it out and name it and then move on past it, it's really, really helpful. So this is a great page. I wouldn't skip it even if it's a little daunting to you. This is a new spread. It's gorgeous. Look at all that gold foil. Cultivate what matters. You have a space here to write out what matters most to me. Then they have two separate pages this year, which I love for good things and challenges. So you have a whole page to write out what worked in the last year and then another page to write about what didn't. Then you have in the weight, lessons you learned, and then this is a new addition as well. This is a page where you talk about the people that you're grateful for. And then as per usual with the power sheets, there are all sorts of great quotes that Laura has added, and this is a new one where she just talks about how grateful she is for those of us that use the power sheets. I know that sometimes can sound trite, but one of the things that's fantastic about the Cultivate What Matters team is they really do care. I love following them on social media. They're actually one of the few companies that I follow regularly because they're always sewing into people that use the products and encouraging throughout the year and giving you insight on goals. And they're definitely not people where you hear from them once when the product launches and then never again. Next is a comparison is the thief of everything page. And then what I'm saying no to and what I'm saying yes to. 
And then another great graphic in gold foil. And what fires me up, this is a fun page where you can go nuts. You can do collages, you can print pictures out, do stickers, draw. I love following the hashtags for the Power Sheets prep because you will see people get so creative on this page. There's two pages for the big picture, which I really like for brainstorming. The question up here asks, if you can envision your most purposeful year yet, what would it look like? Where do you want to be when you're 80? And what will and won't be important to you then? And then what is your definition of success? Then the next page is another big picture page. Use this space to keep the words coming about your big picture. If you're a visual person, make a vision board. You can use magazines, collage, draw, paint, or whatever you like. Then another quote. And then this is also a new feature this year. There's a whole page to choose a word. In the past, you've just gotten a card where you would put your word of the year on it. And then when we go further on into the goals and the tending list sheets, there are spots to focus on a word. But I love that in the prep work, they've added this space to really go into depth. And then you can put your word down there. Another great quote. And then my most purposeful year, I always enjoy this page. It's got a lot of prompts. This is basically the page that can tie everything up. You've done all the prep work. And so it's really helping you just cull all the information that you went through previously right here. And then it's okay to grow slow, amen. Then we get into the next tab, which is all goals. And I want to make sure first and show you these tabs. I didn't do that at the beginning. But what's so nice is you have the prep work, then the goals, then all your month tabs. And then you get into the seasonal tabs, like spring, summer, fall. There's times to refresh the goals, but before that, you of course got to write those goals out. So let's get into the goal tabs. And every one of these pages, these divider pages, is a nice strong material, and I love the designs. If you love your books to be beautiful while also being practical and functional, this is your goal planner for sure. Then you get into the goals, and then you start brainstorming your goals here, and you've got two full pages to do that. I love this print. These are your 2018 goals, so you can write out, you know, all the way up to 10, but again, you don't have to do that. You might just have two or three goals you wanna really work on and do well, or you may wanna go up to 10, the choice is yours. So write it out there, and then this is also new. Last year, the action plan worksheets were only one page a piece, and I love this spread because they basically go in and show the new format, and this is all education on how to do your action plan format for each goal. So each goal that you have written down will have a two-page spread. I am really excited to dig into this, and let me know in the comments below if you want me to do videos on my own personal goals. I mentioned that last year, and then I just didn't follow through on it because I had a hard time kind of formulating my goals. So I'd love to share that with you on the YouTube channel channel here. If that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below. And then you've got an action plan overview January through December, and you can write down your action steps throughout the year. And then they end that section with a beautiful quote. And then we get into the heart of the power sheet. Now we're getting into the monthly spreads here. Every one of these dividers here has a wonderful quote in a different color scheme, which I love. I like that they basically made it simpler so that you can put your stickers in more spots or use the washi tape. This is what you find under every month's tab. It's a prepare well page to start out each month. You have on my calendar important to do's and I'm excited for. One of the new features of the power sheets this year is the wildcard pages. They are a set of free printables. When you receive your power sheets, you'll find the website where you can go to and download these free printable sheets. I love reading, I'm a huge book nerd, so I had to print out the reading list. This has books I want to read and books I have read this year, and you just go ahead and place it into your wildcard page there. I used some of the tending tape here from Laura Casey. I love this lovely sprout pattern. I thought it would be great to start out January by tracking my reading. I printed out a few of the other wildcard pages. I didn't print them all out. I think there's around 12 or 13 of them, and they range in so many different types of topics from budget to meal plan planning to self-care, but I did print out a couple here that looked interesting to me. I printed out the reading list here on a little bit heavier stock paper, so you can see the difference between just a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet. So I just wanted you to see how the printable looks on a little bit thicker paper. Then I've got a content planning sheet here that I think is great. And I'm actually 
going to slip one of those wild card sheets into my current 2017 power sheets to brainstorm some writing ideas and some YouTube video ideas. So if you guys have your 2017 power sheets already, I would suggest you to maybe print some out and try them out this year before you start your new set and see how you like them. This is a great one here. We have a self-care page. What I want to improve on, ideas and ways I feel most refreshed. You have a standard calendar page here. And again, even though these goal planners are not regular day planners, if you wanted to take this calendar page, print it out and put it in one of the wildcard areas in one of your months, you could absolutely use that month spread to plan. So again, they're not planners, but I really like how the Cultivate What Matters team made these printables so that you can tailor them to your individual needs. And then you've got a fitness plan. That's a big one for me. And then a goal progress page. So those are just some of the wildcard pages. Again, I didn't print them all out, but head to the website once you have purchased your power sheet. I think it's a really great way to tailor make your goal planner even more specifically to your needs. So let's get into the rest of the monthly pages. Next, you have a let it go page, which is one of my favorites. As I said earlier, I love to fill that out. You clear the mental and the heart clutter here and write out all the worries, fears, stresses, and to-dos that are taking up your mental and heart space. Then you've got some tips over here. And then this page last year was the Simplify page and it's the same concept. They've just given it a different title this year, Make What Matters Happen This Month. And it's another brain stream, brain dump kind of page where you can write out things you wanna work on. It's a great place again to put it all in one page and then simplify as you get ready to write out your goals for the month. Then you've got some tending tips. And here we go, guys. This is the absolute heart of the power sheets. This is the tending list. You will find this tending list under every month of your year planner. And if you have a six month undated, you will have six of these because the undated ones are six month planners. But again, I love the year ones. So right here, you've got the tending list. It's really the same format as last year, but they've simplified it so that you have more space. If you wanna write more stuff out, if you wanna put washi tape or stickers or anything like that, you've got a place for encouraging words, then your monthly goals, your weekly goals, and your daily goals. The other thing I love is the tending tape that I pointed out earlier. It says, choose what matters, progress, not perfection, and you can do it. It's very thin, and I wanted to show you that it fits right in there, in that little space if you want it, but they very purposely made it small enough to fit into one of these lines in your monthly, weekly, or daily goals. So it's another great tool that you can use to put into your attending sheet. Then the other thing I wanna show you, of course, is the progress bar. This is something that was in the attending list last year, but they have added a new feature to their new sticker book. I'm gonna insert a picture here of the sticker book. They have progress bars here, so you're not checking things off. You can write a note in that box. You can just you know, fill in with a different colored marker if you want. And this year they have added stickers that say, I have made progress that fit perfectly into these bars. I love that they put all these different features in and that they're always trying to improve on them every year. And then in the weekly goals, you've got the five boxes there for every week of the month. And if you wanna follow the hashtag tending list Tuesday, you'll get lots of ideas for how to fill in your tending list. So not only do I love the monthly tending lists, but I really enjoy the community that Cultivate What Matters fosters so that you can really move forward in progress with your goals. Then we've got another blank page here for a wild card. You will do a month in review here and it's basically just a page to help cultivate gratitude and take stock of your month. There are these different boxes that all have different prompts in them. Writing down someone you're grateful for and why, what you're choosing grace over guilt about, progress you're celebrating, goals that are going well, a favorite memory, a good lesson you learned. So you'll find this month in the review at the end of every month. And then you've got another page here for the wild cards, and then we get into the next month. So that's the setup for all of the monthly tabbed sections. And then in addition to those, at each one of the seasons here in this yearly book, you have a refresh every couple of months. So the first one comes in spring, and you've got a clear the clutter checklist where you can go through an inventory, internet clutter, physical clutter, heart, decision clutter. I really like this social media statement as well, so it can just help you stay on track. 
and then this beautiful two-page spread where you can refresh your goals in all the different areas. And then there's a spot here at the top where you had put your word for three months. So at the end of those three months, if you decide you wanna completely revamp your goals or change your word of the month, whatever you need to do, you've got space to do that. And then after that page, you get into the goal refresh. Again, this happens every three months. I really like that they meet you where you are and they help you work through the whole year. So you don't have to feel like you're tied to the same goals for the whole year. Got another wild card page there. Here's your summer refresh. Getting into tips for a fruitful summer. Another evaluation refresh and then a goal refresh. Here's your fall refresh. Savor the season you're in. At the end of December, all of the pages in the December spread are as normal like I've shown you. And then you have a couple pages here at the very end where you can write out your highlights from the year celebrating 2018 then a celebrate page, and then I love this page. This is one of my favorites to fill out. What I learned this year and what I'm grateful for, and then the best is yet to come. Then you have two pages of stickers. These are the same stickers as they had in last year's book, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So if the sticker book is not in the budget, you can be rest assured that you've got some gorgeous stickers here to use in your power sheets. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2018 Power Sheets. I really, really, really love this goal planner. I'm sharing this with you on my channel because I'm a big fan of this product and because it's really been life-changing for me. So I have the links and all the information down in the description box. And as promised, I do have a giveaway. I am going to put together a planner goodie box for whoever wins this giveaway. I'm gonna put all the instructions of how to enter the giveaway in the description box, and I'm gonna be giving you a set of 2017 Cultivate What Matters stickers. And then I'm also going to put one of my favorite planners in there. I love the Day Designer Blue Sky Planner, and I have one of them that I picked up at Target this year that I would love to put in this giveaway bag. I really want to share this with you so that especially if you are picking up those power sheets, you have something that you could use alongside your power sheets for your goal planning. And I love these stickers. I have used them like crazy. Um, I didn't think I would. I'm not someone who puts a lot of stickers in my planner, but I feel like their stickers are very practical and they're made to help motivate you and help track things. So it doesn't feel like you're just decorating your planner. I think it's so important to start thinking about your goals now and you can start all of that prep work in these power sheets as we go into the holidays before January 1st even rolls around. And we still have November and December of 2017 to uh, hit those goals hard and just work on our dreams and aspirations for this year. You can start working on goals at any time, wherever you are, and it's just about little by little progress. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for bearing with me. I know it was a little longer than some of my videos, but I wanted to make sure to really go into depth with the power sheets and let you know exactly what you're getting. I so appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you already use power sheets or if you have any questions about goal setting, and I'm hoping to share more of my goals that I'm gonna cultivate in my power sheets this coming year. And I'm still in my 2017 power sheet, so if you want me to share any of the goal planning I'm doing for the end of 2017, let me know that as well in the comments. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Please take good care on the other side of that screen. Hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are, and I'll be back at you soon with another video. Go ahead and enter the giveaway. Okay, bye guys.